Hello guys, in this video we're gonna do this lion paper cut effect. Okay, let's start. So first get the circle tool, or the ellipse tool, and draw a circle. And remove the fill and keep the opacity. Put it on black, the stroke, so you can see it. Zoom in. Enlarge it slightly, holding shift to make it proportional. And then hold alt and copy it once. And copy it again, put it in the middle. And the middle one just enlarge it holding shift again and then press on this one and copy and make it smaller and place it here enlarge it slightly okay and now get the pen tool and click here on the anchor and here and then hold alt and click here and draw this okay so now press on here and hold shift and click here to make a straight line so you can cut the drawing and prolong it till here so now everything here you don't need everything here you're gonna work for so let's select this one and control C. First, before that, we have to just put this up a little bit. Okay, this works. And now select this one and control C to copy and control shift V to paste in place. And now we have two, so enlarge the second one and then get the direct selection tool and just maybe play with it with this one here. Okay, this works. So now get the pen tool again and draw the mouth. Okay. Okay, this works. And now we can just close it. Okay, this looks fine, so now just draw one more thing here, or make it slightly closer, and close it, and draw one here. Okay, this looks fine, so now select everything, and get the shape builder tool, hold to get the minus sign and remove everything on the right side because you don't need anything on the right side and looks this looks better so now with the plus sign just add this so this one can be one piece and add this make sure you select everything here like even those small ones and add those so this one can be one piece as well and add this and add this and add this and this looks better so now you have this shape here so I added some colors here you can see some gradient colors so for example double click on this one this one has this color and this color so you can choose whatever colors you want, but I chose these colors because I think it's closer to a lion. So what you can do here is, let's select everything, then get the live bucket, and click once, and now you can color. So press I for the eyedropper, and select this color, and then K for the live bucket, and just click here, and here, and here, and maybe here, and here. And maybe click on this color here, and color the rest. And this small area here okay this looks fine so what you can do now is let's first draw the eyes okay and now press on this one shift this one or maybe we have to first select everything and go to object expand press ok 
and now select everything again and right click ungroup and right click again okay we have to ungroup it again right click ungroup now we can select each part so press on this part and this part and this part right click arrange bring to front so the eye can be behind them okay the eye we can actually color it brown and this looks fine so what we have to do now is press on this one and with the gradient tool put the light color down and this one here put the light color down and this one same thing and this one is again I think this one here we should do it the opposite way so the dark color can be down we should make it them all similar okay this is fine and this one here let's just yeah, I think this is fine so now what we have to do is select everything and remove the stroke we don't need the stroke anymore and select this one here and right click or before that just click on this one here right click arrange bring to front then this one and this one so the one which you wanted down you should start with it so you're just arranging which is on top of which okay so this is on top of everything so go to effects stylize and drop shadows and make sure the X offset is 0 and press OK and now do the same thing for this one and this one and this one and this one effects apply drop shadow it just applies the last option you did and I think that's it so you have this nice shape now so what you have to do now is to do the hair I think this one works better if we do it or let's first do the hair get the pen tool and let's lock everything because we want to work with the hair so get the pen tool okay here as you can see I'm starting to add hair for the lion I'm just gonna add it randomly just do as many hair as you want. It doesn't matter how they look or if they're on top of the face. Just add as much hair as you want because we're gonna arrange them and put them back behind the face. But we have to put the, the top hairs on top of the bottom hairs. So as you go higher, the hair is, should be on top. Let's draw more hair. And let's arrange them try to put them on top of one another and as you go high the hair should be on top of the bottom hairs I'm just adding more hairs here it's all random positions so you can do whatever you want and arrange the higher hairs should be on top right click arrange bring to top and now I'm gonna add a new color a bright color and I'm gonna add drop shadows to all the hair strands and I'm gonna color the top hairs yellow yellow and orange and get the gradient tool and fix the color add more orange on the bottom part Mm, this looks better and I'm gonna add the nose and get the reflect tool double click on it and vertical and now we need to connect each of them together 
So get the line tool and draw a line like this and another line from here to here. So now select all of them and get the shape builder tool, hold the minus sign and remove only the ones coming out. So now what we have to do is we have to connect with the shape builder tool. So select all of it and get the shape builder tool. And before that, let's select them one by one. So this two here, hold shift and get the shape builder tool and just connect them. And then select this and this shape builder tool connect. And we can do also one more thing, get the rectangle tool and create a rectangle here and change this one to black and this one to white and this opacity put it on zero and give it some black from here, maybe decrease the opacity of this one to 80, this one let's put it this color. And now let's place it underneath the cheeks. So press on this one, shift all of this one, right click, arrange, back. And this one, let's just make it look good. Here, let's put it zero. And increase a little bit the black. And this looks much better. And I think we need one more, or a couple more, let's see. And one more thing, I want to add saturation to everything. I would go to edit, edit colors, and saturate when I select everything. I think this is fine. And that's it.